What's cracking? This is Darren Help with the Heart McDuffie, and I had to do this video today. I hadn't done one in a long time, but there was something on my mind, and I just needed to get it out. For the past two weeks, I've been really craving potato chips. It's like every night I just wanted potato chips, and I couldn't figure out why. Well, yesterday, I finally figured out why I was craving potato chips. I went yesterday to my practitioner to get a biomeridian assessment, and if you don't know what that is, um, you actually hook to a machine or a computer and they touch uh, points on your fingers and your toes and they, those those points corresponds to different organs and different, different systems within the body. So to make a long story short, I have been craving salt and was prescribed Himalayan salt, which is a good salt, and also magnesium and potassium. And uh, that was why I was craving the potato chips. And it's really crazy how your body will make you gravitate towards certain foods if it's something lacking within it. So if you are uh, gravitating towards sugar, there might be a reason why you're doing that. And if you are gravitating towards salt, you may be like me and someone who is deficient in salt. But in my going to crave the potato chips and, and going to the grocery store, I just started to look at the ingredients. And what I found with the ingredients is that your potato chips can actually give you heart disease. Many of the potato chips out there are fried in uh, vegetable oils. And uh, the funny thing about vegetable oils is that a long time ago, we used to fry a lot of things in what we call saturated fats, like beef tallow, for instance. McDonald's used to fry, fry their french fries in beef tallow, and they were pressured to stop because they had this whole connection about saturated fats causing heart disease. Well, that's not true. What's actually happened is that with the introduction of vegetable oils into the market, heart disease took a rise. Our bodies are not used to corn oils or canola oils or all these what I call mutated oils. So what happens is when you start to take those oils into the body, it starts to scar your arteries and then the arteries make you, uh, you, know, you know, you start to develop heart disease. So it's really funny that potato chips, something that you think is very harmless, can end up uh, over a period of time causing you heart disease. Now another thing I know is about potato chips and I've actually cut them out of my diet. I'm not going to really eat them anymore or if I do them I'm going to you know search for a, a brand that does not fry in vegetable oils or um, make them myself. You can actually make them yourself. They're just potatoes and you can fry them in, in, in oil. So um, but Another thing that I noticed is that potato chips, the particular ones that I like, which are vinegar and salt, have maltodextrin in them, which is a sugar. A lot of the food companies put this in food and they are not, they don't have to disclose that they're putting it in your food. Um, some of them do. And the danger with maltodextrin is it can elevate your blood sugar really, really high. So if you are a diabetic or pre-diabetic, you could be eating a food and not knowing that it's going to elevate your blood sugar. And if you are constantly eating something like a potato chip uh, over and over and over again, you can uh, develop diabetes and you don't even know why you develop diabetes. Another, uh, the, the last thing is that most of the brands that I was looking at that were the flavored brands like the buffalo wing flavors, sour cream, and all these other types of, of flavors of potato chips that they had out there had what they call autolyzed yeast extract, which is used for flavor. And autolyzed yeast extract is another uh, crazy way of saying MSG. And I don't know if you know, a couple of years ago, we were really trying to get MSG out of our food. And now here the food companies go and they are labeling it as something else. And in case you didn't know the dangers of MSG, MSG is what they call an excitotoxin. It causes the brain to be overly stimulated and has been connected to things like Alzheimer's and strokes. So pay attention to what you're eating. You know, I slipped up. I'm a conscious eater. It happens, but I really want you to pay attention to what you're eating and check the labels. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. That's the rule. I hope this has been helpful and always be a conscious eater. This is Darren Health with the Heart McDuffie. Thank you for your time.